We've got Jason from uh, Tiki Taco uh, in Christchurch here. He's on the call. We're doing a little little case study call. Um, so uh, yeah, get out, Jace. How's it going? Yeah, good mate. How are you? Yeah, good, good. We just um, uh, just for the guys that are watching this uh, case study video, um, we're just going to cover off uh, what sort of results we got over the last. Uh, list. It's about seventeen days or so um, running the campaign. Just a little bit, of, almost a couple of weeks. Um, so we're just going to cover with the guys a little bit about um, what sort of results we got. Um, I've got some slides here that we're going to bring up in a sec, but do you just want to um, share with the uh, with the guys watching um, what you guys do at Tiki Taco, what sort of uh, setup you guys have down there? Yeah, cool, man. So uh, essentially what we have is we have two stores um, selling Mexican food. We have a bricks and mortar shop down at the Colombo Mall, uh, and we also have a caravan, our original caravan um, that we started up with sort of three years ago down at the Restart Mall. Um, so yeah, we've been doing it for about three years now, and we've had the shop in the Colombo for about a year and a half, um, which has certainly been a uh, step up in terms of operations uh, and less our responsibilities uh, compared to the Restart Mall. Restart Mall is just a little caravan with sort of part-time staff, um, so we uh, turned into sort of grown-ups when we uh, took on board the uh, bricks and mortar. Yeah, fantastic, awesome. Um, yeah, so we uh, and we ran we ran a campaign with the um, with the Colombo shop, um, and we caught up for coffee a couple of weeks ago now, um, and we had a bit of a chat, didn't we, about um, you know what your business is all about, what you're looking for. We talked about what it was. We talked about your your key customer. Yep. Um, your branding and some of the some of the things you wanted to get out there through social media. Yep. Mm. Yeah, I just went through a bit of a business summary with you. Um, you know what I'm looking for in terms of marketing. Obviously, our struggles. Um, the fact that uh, Chris and I, my partner, my business partner. You know, when you're in the thick of the operations, it's quite hard to bring your head out of the clouds and and um, you know get on board with that plan and actually put it into action. So that's obviously why I wanted to have a chat to you, and you delivered. Yeah, awesome. Appreciate that. Well, um, let, let's 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 have a little cut into uh, the slides here. Um, so let me just play around here, looking over the PowerPoint. Cool. Now, um, the guys watching, they're going to be able to see. Um, they're going to be able to see this PowerPoint, but unfortunately, Jace, you'll just be able to listen to the sound of my voice. <laughs> I'll imagine, mate. I'll be there. <laughs> okay. Cool. So I've just brought up the slides now. So. Um, the guys, are, I'm just going to flick through these slides and then we'll just come back to you, Jace. Um, and feel free to add anything as you go along, as we go along here. Um, so we're looking at the slide here. Um, uh, we've got Tiki Taco. Um, this is their uh, Colombo shop. So um, this is the uh, the shop they were running the campaign for through uh, Facebook ads. Um, now, just before we get into uh, what we actually ran, I just wanted to cover this quick slide, which is a module from our Facebook ads for service businesses uh, course. And this this uh, particular slide here is all about how to profit with Facebook ads. So what we've got here, I actually showed Jace this. Um, it's essentially the, the value ladder or the upsell ladder. Um, Jace, you remember me showing you this, how we sort of, you know, how I was saying, I think McDonald's pays a dollar for every, uh, uh, for every every customer that spends a dollar thirty or forty, yep. Um, yeah. So yeah. So I showed Jace over this. So I just want to show you guys as well because it's really important when understanding how to actually make money with Facebook ads and with online digital marketing in general. So you notice here at the bottom, you've got uh, this here is an example for say a dentist. Um, so they might run a campaign offering free or low cost teeth cleaning. It might be um, they're like, hey guys, we're running this crazy offer to promote our you know dental studio. Um, you know, $10 teeth cleaning. I mean, teeth cleaning is usually, I think, around $50 or something like that. So they're running like a discount or it might be free. Um, now, all the smiley faces along the bottom there. So obviously, you have more people that redeem the voucher than actually um, come in and use the voucher. So a lot of people will grab it versus redeemers. But then the people who actually come in and get the free teeth clean, not all of them are going to buy uh, cleaning every six months. But you'll get quite a few of them that will actually come back and get cleaning every six months. So that's bumping them up to the next step of the ladder, and that's where you're making a bit more money. Now, you might have out of those out of that people that came in for the teeth cleaning discount to redeem their voucher, you might have maybe ten of them decides to get whitening. Maybe the dentist, you know, 
looks over your teeth and says, oh, you know, they're looking pretty yellow. We can fix it up for you nice and easy. And he upsells, say, 10 people to whitening. Now, whitening's, like, you know, at least $100, Um, So there he's already made $1,000 to $2,000. Um, then maybe two people might need a retainer or might need cavities um, to be filled. Um, and you know, say if you need a cavity refill, that's at least four or five hundred dollars. So there's another another few dollars, and then maybe one person out of that whole lot, maybe they end up needing an implant or something like that, and that's like three thousand um, dollars. So out of that campaign, we don't expect everyone to go up all the way up to an implant and buy an implant, but we also don't expect everybody who gets the teeth cleaning to, you know, continue on with the same dentist and get teeth cleaning, but. The, um, the law of averages shows that, you know, if you have enough people go through your funnel, um, let's say 100 people, you're guaranteed to have at least some of them um, that will purchase some other products and services off you. Um, so the key tip down on the left there is that marketing is not really a cost. Uh, marketing generates a return on investment. So that's really what we're looking at. If we spend, say, 100 or $200 or even $300 on that campaign for the free teeth cleaning or the low-cost teeth cleaning, but we end up making an implants three thousand dollars, and then whitening another two thousand dollars. Then we end up making way more than what we spend in our marketing. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a profit above our above our marketing spend. So that's really why I wanted to cover that little slide with you. We're just going to jump over to um, uh, Jace's ad performance now. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at the Facebook um, ads themselves and how they perform. Now with Jace um, over the seventeen days or so over the couple of weeks. We just had two um, ad types of ads we're running on Facebook. Um, both of them were going out to the same audience, but one of them didn't perform very well. Um, so we decided to can it. Um, the first ad that didn't perform very well was, uh, I'll show you guys in a second. Um, you can see here that total we spent about $56 on uh, Jace's campaign over the couple of weeks. Um, and on the far right hand side, it says relev or R-E-L-E-V, that's standing for relevance score. It's really important that your ads have a high relevance score because if they don't, then Facebook will actually charge you more to show your ad to people. What it's basically saying is Facebook saying, well, based on your ad, the image, the copy, the offer itself, it's not really relevant to the type of people that you're targeting. So we're actually gonna charge you more to show that ad to those people. Um, so a relevance score of nine, 10 is the highest you can get. So nine is perfect. If your relevance score is six or below, you really just want to can the ad. Um, although Jace's second ad ran better, um, better than a six, it still didn't run anywhere near as good as the uh, first ad. So I'm just going to show you guys here, flipping over to the next slide. Here's our best performing ad. So we're paying 17 cents per lead. That's per person who grabbed a voucher, has a voucher on this on their phone there. Um, they're like, sweet, you know, let's, let's use this thing. Um, so, you know, you're flicking through Facebook, it's lunchtime or it's dinner time and you're feeling a bit hungry and instantly you see this ad pop up and it says, you know, hey, Christchurch peeps, you know, Chris and Jace here from Tiki Taco, we're doing something crazy to promote our Colombo shop. We're giving away 50 vouchers for a taco for only $6. Only 50 vouchers available, get one now by clicking this link. They can click the link or they can click the image, takes them straight to a page, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. So um, just breaking the ad down really quickly for you guys. So this is what we call a crazy discount funnel. And it's kind of crazy because it's like a crazy deal that a local business does. And we're throwing a bit of personality in there by saying like, hey, it's Kristen and Jay. So they're like, oh, they're actually real people. And we're doing something crazy to promote our shop. So instantly, the, if you live in Christchurch, you know what Colombo Street is. So if you say Colombo Shop, they know what you're talking about. Um, and then it says we're giving away 50 vouchers. So that's really important because scarcity um, having a limited number of something increases your conversions because of course what happens in human nature if we get told we can't have something then we want it more um, and then just telling people how they can get the how they can get the product so get one now by clicking this link um, so that's our best performing ad the reason it got to 17 cents per lead is because we actually set up um, we, we actually told people when they got their voucher, we told them after they'd received the voucher that they can actually share it with a friend. Um, there's only limited available, so quick, share it with a friend as quick as you can. And so of course we've got a whole bunch of um, organic, um, unpaid leads come through as well. So that's what really uh, made our cost per lead really, really low. 
So that's our best performing ad. Now I'm just jumping over to the next slide, which is showing the uh, landing page. So a landing page is really the next page that somebody goes to after clicking the Facebook ad. So you see the voucher, you click the button to get the voucher, you end up on this page. It's nice and simple. The reason that you want a really simple page uh, is because if you give people too much information, it actually lowers your conversion rate. And for a no-brainer offer, I mean, Jace would probably agree, you know, this offer is fantastic. I mean, a taco for $6, that's great value. Uh, would you say, Jace? Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, the good thing about this one, mate, is it goes out to the wider audience. So it's, you know, we do have other items on the menu, uh, which, you know, obviously people would be interested in. But the taco and the burrito, effectively, is what we're known for. It's what we really want to... Um, it's what we want to be known for as well. You know, one of the difference is that our... Um, you know, our tortillas are homemade and they're freshly pressed and that's what goes into the tacos and the burritos. So to have an offer that is actually um, allowing people to experience that item, um, you know, in, in, in my opinion, it's second to none in terms of what we can give away. Mm. Um, and that's, that's a good price. You know, it sounds good. Um, we're not actually showing um, the true value, but uh, we don't need to because it's a, it's a good solid price, um, especially with the bonus add-on, which I'm sure you talk about. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. And thinking even as you were saying that, I think even seven dollars, you'd probably get the same conversion rate. Um, Should have told me. <laughs> uh, just thinking about that now. Um, six dollars was fine though, mate. It was a good price. Yeah, awesome, awesome, fantastic. Um, so what happens is, um, basically, this is like on this page here. It's basically a little repeat of the Facebook ad itself. So it just pretty much says a similar thing. It just encourages them to grab the voucher. They click the button and basically they can enter their details and, and get the voucher. Um, so on the next page that they get redirected to after the voucher, um, I don't know if you have a screenshot for you guys of that one, but basically it just says, hey, thanks for grabbing your voucher. Check your inbox to grab it. Um, by the way, um, if you guys uh, come down in the next 48 hours and redeem your voucher, um, then you'll instantly get a bonus uh, free fries, small fries, uh, free. Now, that deal's super awesome. Um, I, don't, I don't know uh, how affordable it is <laughs> from, from your side, Jace, but, um, but in terms of uh, causing people to take action now, I think that's a great way to do it. There's probably other ways we could have done that as well, and we've, we've spoken about that before, uh, before we started recording. Um, there's other ways we could have sort of encourage people to come down and that way you could upsell the fries instead of giving them away but hey it's all test and tweaking as we go along um but did you find um uh how, how did you find jace the um uh did you find that you had quite a few people that were uh, grabbing grabbing the fries did you have anybody that um that didn't grab the fries it just came down for the taco later uh basically we um we were it was our belief that we wanted to give everyone the fries anyway okay. to um, make them feel like they, um, I mean, in my experience, um, dealing with sort of vouchers is that, you know, if someone comes in and there is an added extra that they can get in a limited time, if you don't give it to them, even though they're happy they've got a voucher, they could go away with it, even if it's a slightly sour taste in their mouth for the fact they didn't get the other extra, um, you know, mm -hmm. it's all about value to them. So, you know, in some cases, it, 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 it probably costs us a little bit in terms of the, the raw food item um, and the service the overheads, et cetera. But end of the day, um, and I'm sure you'll I know you agree. The fact is, you have to um, you have to spend money to get new new customers through the door sometimes. Um, and obviously, getting our, our brand out through um, that targeted audience through Facebook as well, um, you know, it has huge value. So I don't think that as a loss, even though you know we did lose money here and there. Um, I'm I'm completely happy with um, the marketing we get out of it, and obviously the cost of incurs is just part of the game. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome, Jess. Um, cool. Now, I've got a few crosses here um, just because I haven't, I didn't actually have a chance to catch up with you before your campaign ended and uh, we didn't quite um, cover, you know, total sales or anything. But um, I'm just going to give you these, these guys just a little wrap up of uh, what the general results are. Okay, it was, it was 12 days that we calculated from when we turned the ad on to when we turned the ad off. Um, so 12 days. Uh, leads generated, I'm just basically on a results page here. So we, we generated 176 uh, leads. We paid $56.36 total in ad spend, which means our average cost per lead was only 17 cents. Um, so that's pretty pretty awesome in terms of the amount of vouchers grabbed. Um, probably one of the lowest costs um, 
per lead campaign that we ran to date so far. And we've ran quite a lot of campaigns. Um, uh, now, Jace, I have no idea. Um, I have no idea if uh, if there was like certain sales levels that you managed to you know calculate based on the vouchers, like how many sales you made based on those vouchers alone. Um, um, at the moment, I only have an average for you based on. Um, I mean, Friday, for example, we were talking earlier that a lot of people came in on the Friday, which was um, you know a fantastic result. Before that, um, we sort of maybe had four or five, six on average tripping through um, every day, maybe sort of two, three days after the campaign um, started. Um, but on Friday, um, our sales were up 30%. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, that's, um, and that's a significant spike um, since we've been sort of obviously monitoring ourselves the last, um, well, since we've been open a year and a half. So um, that was directly attributed to obviously the bulk of the people coming in with those vouchers. So, um, you know, we still making money off them. Um, and those people will be coming back as well. Hopefully, even if it's you know ten percent and they're coming back, it's still people coming back. And when they do come back, they're paying us direct without a voucher, um, and that's what it's all about, you know. And telling their friends hopefully as well. Mm, yeah, oh, for sure, fantastic. Yeah, and that that's really key. What we want to be doing, Jace, like we spoke. I'm just flicking back over to Skype here so the guys can catch up with us. Um, awesome. So everybody's uh, back on Skype here. Um, yeah, I mean, like you said there. You know, we, we hope to, in any business, I think we hope to provide as much value as we can so that the customer comes back. Um, yeah, so what you're saying there for sure. Um, I was uh, I was thinking as well, as you uh, as you mentioned that on Friday, being 30% up. I mean, that, that's fantastic in terms of a result. Um, you know, like we spoke about before we got on the call, there's several things we could have, you know, adjusted along the way. Um, one adjustment I made on the Friday, um, on the Friday morning, early morning, that may have had an impact was I actually um, was able to take some very detailed targeting on Facebook and target people that live two kilometers within your business. So, and that was yep. just on the Friday. And then that Friday evening, we put a stop on the ad um, to, to basically um, uh, close off this case study. Um, but it, it will be interesting in the future to, um, to see what sort of thing may happen um, from keeping that same location targeting two kilometer from your local business with those exact people that are most likely, you know, there are already people who are interested in, in buying your type of food. Um, already people that have showed us that they, they like that type of stuff. Um, it'd be really interesting to see with different offers, different times of the day offers, um, breakfast and dinner, like we spoke about, what sort of results we could get, you know, that way and see if we can get more consistent, not just on a Friday, but consistently 30% over the course of the week itself, that would probably make a, make a really cool difference. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Mm, fantastic, Jace. Well, Hey, thanks for catching up on this call, man. And thanks for agreeing to, um, to, to, to be a case study here and, and help out with the call and, and show everybody, uh, what sort of results you got. Oh, not at all, mate. And thanks for, uh, thanks for helping out and picking Chicky Taco as one of your case studies, because, uh, you certainly did help us and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, your promptness and your professionalism along the way as well was um, was refreshing. So um, more than happy to work with you again in the future, um, hopefully very soon actually, because you know as we were just talking about before, we've got other um, you know parts of the business or particularly you know times that we're looking to um, increase our trade. Uh, and you've certainly shown that you can um, you can do that very effectively. So like I say, looking forward to uh, good results in the future. Okay, guys. Yeah, so um, fantastic catch up with Jace. Um, we're just going to wrap up here. Um, so thirty percent up on the Friday. That's pretty amazing. Imagine if you know you could do that in your business, whether you're in a restaurant or, or, or a different business. Um, so if you guys are wondering what the next step is, uh, the next step is uh, if you want to jump on, I'm doing a free webinar, uh, learn Facebook ads webinar. So jump onto that um, at the link that's just in front of you there. And I will look forward to catching you on the webinar. So that's just our website, thriveentrepreneur.com. And then just hit forward slash webinar. So you can just jump into your URL tab at the top there of your browser and just type in webinar and it'll take you straight to the page where you can um, jump in and uh, learn Facebook ads. So I look forward to catching you on the other side in the webinar.